Your news tips are worth money. Call in your tip at 223-6059. We'll pay you cash. This is WROI News. Ninety-two point one WROI. It's time to take a look at your local news. The news today is brought to you by your Fulton County REMC, your Touchtone Energy Cooperative, and by Ulrich Heating and Cooling for reasonable prices, experience, and excellent customer service. Call them today at five seven four two two three six three zero seven, or on their cell at five seven four seven two seven zero 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 five. Currently sitting at 43 degrees here in downtown Rochester under cloudy skies with a light rain coming down. We'll have a look at that full weather forecast a little bit later on in your news. Indiana 2nd District Congresswoman Jackie Walorski was our guest on WROI for her regular interview. We were talking about the tariffs President Trump wants to put in place, and she said she's warned the White House about the downside of tariffs. You know, this is a mixed bag and the fight goes on. I sent a, a very stern letter to the president on Friday before we left. And I want to make sure that, you know, our local manufacturers are comfortable with these decisions that are being made and to make sure that we're not hurting current jobs. Jackie went on to say jobs need to be the main priority. That's been a 24-7 fight. That's why I went to Congress is to fight and to make sure that no matter who is in charge, the decisions that are being made, I'm going to support if they're actually, you know, being positively impacted here with jobs, better jobs, and keeping our current guys going at a record pace. And again, that was Indiana 2nd District Congresswoman Jackie Walorski. The Fulton County Commissioners met and heard the report from Highway Chief John Geyer on what's been a busy month for the department, especially with all the flooding. Geyer appeared on WROI this morning and brought us up to speed. The biggest thing we had was the flooding last week. It shut down 26 of our roads in total. We're still, as of this morning, we got six roads closed, and I plan to open three of those yet today. Four of those roads were pipes, culverts, big, large pipes that were damaged. They was under so much pressure, they gave out. We've had trouble getting pipes because they're all the flooding across the state. Everybody ordered pipes at the same time, so <laughs> it's kept some of our roads closed a little longer than normal. And well, then we had two roads that were closed out of that were gravel roads. They just become so saturated. There wasn't any houses on those roads, so we just shut the roads down until it dried up. Middle of last week, we were at 784 man hours just dealing with flood instances. Probably in total, we're looking at about $40,000 of damage to the county okay. through this flooding event. And again, that was Fulton County Highway Chief John Geyer. In statewide news, Governor Holcomb is saying he wants to use the bipartisan momentum seen on Sunday alcohol sales to deal with school safety issues. The governor says he'll be releasing his expectations for a summer study committee that's been proposed on the issue. Before everyone goes home, I want to lay out a few recommendations that lead up to not just the summer study committee that the legislators announced that they wanted to take up and review, but also into 2019. So I want to make sure that we are allocating all the resources that we have to schools right now. So are there some things that we can do to make sure that it eases parents' minds, teachers' minds, students' minds, so that they believe that they're in the safest place possible to learn and grow? And again, that was Indiana Governor Eric Holcomb. The Fulton Economic Development Corporation has announced the Spring Next Level Business Course. Class dates are 6 to 9 on April 5th, 12th, 19th, and May 3rd and 17th, all on Thursdays. The course is $99. Partial scholarships and fee assistance is available for qualified individuals, and graduates are eligible to apply for reduced interest loans. You must register and attend one of the free orientation meetings to sign up for the class. Those will be held March 14th and March 22nd at 1215 and 515. Classes and orientation will be held at the Fedco offices at 822 Main Street in Rochester. For more information, contact Amy Beachy at Fedco, 574-709-7955 or email amy at projectmattersllc.com. We'll be back with a look at your full weather forecast after this.
Your Fulton County REMC is proud to offer the new Faster Exceed satellite internet service. They can now connect customers to their fastest satellite internet service ever with broadband speeds up to 12 megabytes per second. For homeowners with fewer options for internet service or who live in rural areas, there's no better option than Exceed Broadband. Share photos remarkably fast. Enjoy better video chat with less jitter. Send and receive files quickly. Exceptionally fast web browsing and email. Listen to streaming music. If you're ready for a fast Faster internet connection, you're ready for Exceed Broadband. Call 574 223 3156 today to learn more about the amazingly fast Exceed Broadband service offered by your local Fulton County REMC, your Touchstone Energy Provider. And now take $50 off all new Exceed internet installs with your Fulton County REMC. Call them today. Ulrich Heating and Cooling, Rochester, offers expert sales and service in northern Indiana. Call 574-223-6307 for all your heating and cooling needs. They service all brands and all types of heating and cooling systems. For new heating and cooling products, Ulrich Heating and Cooling is proud to announce they now offer Armstrong Air, designed to deliver substantial durability, comfort, and energy efficiency. Armstrong Air is the professional's choice. Licensed, insured, and bonded, that's Ulrich Heating and Cooling, locally owned and operated for over 34 years. And again, we are sitting at 43 degrees under cloudy skies here in downtown Rochester with rain coming down. Argus is at 41. The Grissom Aeroplex is at 41 as well. We see rain possible the rest of the afternoon. Tonight, rain up until about 8 o'clock. Then we see rain and snow between 8 and 11. And then snow after that. And we have a low around 30. Tomorrow, a chance of snow up until about 1 o'clock, mostly cloudy after that, and a high near 33. Tomorrow night, mostly cloudy with a low around 23. On Thursday, mostly cloudy skies, we have a high near 34, a low around 23. Friday, mostly sunny skies, a high near 39, a low around 27. Saturday, it'll be mostly sunny, we see a high near 43, and a low around 29. Again, 41 degrees at the Grissom Aeroplex, 41 in Argus, and 43 here in downtown Rochester. And this has been a look at the forecast for Rochester and all of north central Indiana. The news today is brought to you by your Fulton County REMC, home of the Exceed Broadband Connection. Fulton County REMC, your touchtone energy provider. And by Ulrich Heating and Cooling. Find out how you can save on your fuel bills with the latest in heating and cooling products. For WROI News, I'm Paul Zartman. Do you have the WROI News Tip of the Week? When you see or hear news happening, call 223-6059. If you have the top tip of the week, we'll pay you $10. That's 574-223-6059. 223-6059.